What is going on guys? It's your boy KG for life here with another video. This YouTube video here is to showcase some uh, guild boss battles with uh, um, with the team that I've that I've been using uh, Which is and let's go into here so we can show you We're using Punch ship It's uh, Eclair. I'm sorry it's late at night. Give me a sec. Uh, Crunchy Chip, Eclair, Captain Caviar, Vampire, and Cotton. Alright, so this is the team we're using. As you can see here, um, we are pretty much trying to make this be the team to pretty much solo the Red Velvet Dragon. The other, these are updated builds, by the way, just so y'all so know. I do have other builds down below, down everywhere, you know, about different boss battle teams. But this battle team came to me from a, from a viewer and YouTuber uh, about, <clears throat> about how good this team actually is for survivability to help you keep going um, in the lower battle. So you want to say probably level 15 and below you can use this guild boss battle team um the other guild boss battle, boss battle team doesn't really matter to me at this point because i can't i can make it but it doesn't really help um so without further ado let's run through the build so you have to see exactly what we're running we're running with crunchy chocolate chip we're gonna run some crunchy chip with uh full uh crit apple jellies running with 44 percent crit eight percent damage resist and a little bit of cooldown you can get this game which is higher, but I just don't have enough time to do that. No, I don't have enough toppings. So right now we're stuck with eight points. Uh, next, Captain Caviar is going to be on the next battle. He has a really, 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 really. Okay. So <clears throat> he is sitting with 25%, 0.7% damage resist mixed with 8.9%. All right. So remember that and then honestly you can change this around if you need to by adding one more uh one more uh solid almond for survivability if you need to do that go ahead and do that that's what's easy to do um i recommend taking off the the, the searing raspberry more than taking off the sweet chocolate it's my all right next eclair back up as much damage resist as you can on eclair he needs to survive even through everything that he does he needs to survive okay so he's running full solid almond. He's running at 39.9%. Damage resist with 6% cooldown. Now I tried to stack up as much cooldown as I can while working on damage resist too. But most of my toppings are running damage resist and cooldown, but low ended damage resist, like in a 1% damage. Next, cotton's running full swift chocolate mixed with damage resist, cooldown, but more focused on your cooldown. So you're focusing on cooldown. Is it 21.6% cooldown, 14.5% damage resist? That's what you want to work. All right. Next, our one and only good boy, Vampire, who's always going to be the cookie to you in any guild battle, except for them. Yeah, any guild battle, really. He uses it in mess most any of them. Um, <clears throat> focusing on damage resist. That's all you gotta focus on. You don't have to focus on anything else. Maybe if you want some crit, maybe if you want some resisting and some attacks, focusing on attacking damage just is your best friend, right? So you're running with these builds here with them, making sure that they're all tackled. And then for our for our artifacts slash relics, we're using uh uh attack scroll. We're using attack scroll. We're using Pilgrim Screenshot and we're using Apple Jelly Watch. Apple Jelly Watch is six out or max at 12. We're gonna get the best. So let's go ahead and do a practice battle on the on this so you can see exactly what we so I have to show you how much damage they do it. We go in. Cotton. Hold cotton available. So it's that, 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 and that. And then just let it go on auto from here. <laughs> I 
As you can see, they died very fast, but it was able to do a lot of damage. And I did tell you that they would be They would be setting him at a, a full-on battle here as you can see 10 seconds left in the battle and we do 10 million damage Right, so there's another team that goes around and I'm gonna show you all this team too But just because I wouldn't be able to show this to y'all so everybody Um, it'll be this team right here We're gonna edit this team because we're gonna take out him and put him in there this time so here's this team right he's running uh crit there's no damage resistance on him i'm just worried about doing damage with him and then avogado was supposed to be running something but this is this is a scuffed guild boss battle okay it's a scuffed so we're gonna scuff it we're gonna be okay with it let's go ahead and put some guild uh let's go ahead and put some swift apple jellies on him uh filter apple jelly those are for uh my those are for my cream unicorn so i'm not touching those but we're just going to put some on him just so he's happy right okay. he's happy right now we're gonna be okay with that and let's see the difference between this boss skill team and this boss skill team okay right. so let's give it a try and we shall see what happens <laughs> He's getting damage nullified to himself, which just sucks. Oh. And this is level nine dragon. So y'all know this. <laughs> it's funny. And this guild boss battle team did 8 melee damage. So, at the higher level dragon teams, you're probably, if you do 9 million, 10 million times 3, which is like 30 some odd million, and his thing is about 72 million, when it comes to the uh when it comes to practicing at nine you're pretty much going to be able to solo him with the team right here team but i was able to show you the second team even though it was a scuffed team very scuffed team. uh i was able to show you this one and uh, this one to make sure that you know that you have two different settings what i would do with this though is if you can i've removed eclair and put lower bay shark instead because Sword Base Shark does do a lot of work when it comes to the guild boss battle teams as well. So that's all I can really do with the with the Red Velvet Dragon. I'm going to try to get a video done with Avatar Destiny and the Living Abyss as soon as possible. But right now I'm going to try to put those on hold. Because the Red Velvet Dragon has been the main one that everybody. So this has been your boy KG for Life. I appreciate y'all and I hope to see y'all in the next video. Uh, bye bye.